Hello, this is New Wave of British Heavy Metal.com. Today is the 6th of September 2020. And in this brief video, I'd like to revisit a post that I put up on the blog back on the 23rd of November 2019, which looked at the reissue of uh, the, the debut album by Vengeance. And for, for those of you that might not know, Vengeance, back in the 1980s, for, formed in Holland. And they were still active until a few years ago in, in, in various forms. But back, back to the debut album, the, the 1980s in Holland, they, they could burst some uh, really fantastic heavy, heavy rock, heavy metal bands. And Vengeance were just one of them. And, and right up there with the likes of Heloise, Vandenberg and, and Picture and, and all the others, right? And over the years, the, the Vengeance albums have become hard to find somewhat. But this debut album of theirs has recently been reissued, well, back in November 19, by a French label called Bad Reputation. And it, it really is worth checking out this debut, well, and any, any Vengeance stuff, but particularly going back to the early years and, and this album. I mean, th th this is full from start to finish of huge monster crisp riffs, m magnificent solos. I mean, they had a phenomenal guitar duo of um, Oscar Holloman and Arjun Lacassen. Yeah, that, that Arjun Lacassen that then came into Arion and all, all the great proggy stuff that he's done. But back then, him and Holloman were were superb guitar duo, just as good as anybody else. There's the big fat drum sound as well, and monster bass, throbbing bass. And uh, the, the, the band also had a, a fantastic vocalist in Leon Gowie. I mean, th th this man, what what a rock vocalist. He, how, how he stayed so much under the radar, uh, I, I don't know, but the, the man delivers vocals outstandingly well, so, so suited to the music. But all, all the nine songs on this album are all fine, up-tempo rockers, re really good feel and style to all of them. They, they don't take, take themselves too seriously, which comes along in, in the lyrics, it, it, but it's all, you know, huge fun. And every song's got plenty of meat behind it as well. Back to that not taking themselves too seriously stuff. You know, when you listen to the lyrics, don't expect deep, meaningful things exploring the, the meaning of life, the universe and everything else. But do expect a set of songs that will really blow your socks off. It, it's fantastic stuff. You know, the opener, down and out, monster, monster, huge, big riff, bang, straight, straight in your face. Tonight, tonight, and, and get out are a similar style. The huge riffs, Holloman and Lacassen trading off each other. The, the big rhythm section and Gowie's monster vocals, it, it's great stuff. You know, they, they can do the slightly slower stuff as well, like you, you, you took me by surprise, but it's still got a monster hook to it. And, you know, Metal Days is, is a fine demonstration of Gowie's vocal power and, and the range and feel that, that he had back then. Prison of the Night, real sledgehammer riff, and the, the, the title track's a similar story. In this version, the, the reissue, there are some bonus tracks as well. We've got a studio and a live version of Death Ride to Glory, which, which for me is probably the, the, the best song here. It's, it's well, tremendous pounds away relentlessly and then we've got a couple of live recordings of, of down and out and tonight and the, the, the live stuff just goes to show how how good and powerful vengeance must have been live and oh and also we've got a special remix in, in inverted commas of, of the ballad style only the wind as well on there um but great stuff you know back back in the 80s vengeance weren't around for that long but they, they did get better and better with each release. I mean, if, if you can find it, if you can find the CD, the Arabia is probably the, um, the the standout of all their albums. If you can find that anywhere, it, it really is good. And um, although the, the 80s, they kind of faded out of things, they, they did reform and, and come back a few years ago. And if you can pick them up, uh, albums like Back in the Ring and Piece of Cake, and Soul Collector are also really, really good. Well, all of them are, but th this first album kind of sets the scene and provides the blueprint for what comes later. It's not a weak moment on it anywhere. Re really, really excellent. You might call it Euro Metal, call it what you like, but it's bloody good. 
it's one of my favorites to this day and finding the reissue was a, an excellent surprise so do check it out if you'd like to underneath in the description is a link to the album on amazon and also a link back to the post on the blog if you'd like to um, read that uh, before you go please uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel that helps us grow a little bit as well and of course as always thanks for listening and take care